I am confident, I am within a 90 percentile sure that I would not be here during these times to do this interview, even be around if I didn't have Bash. So I am extremely, extremely thankful that I did find Shelter to Soldier. Shelter to Soldier is a California 501c3 nonprofit and our mission is essentially saving lives two at a time. We're adopting dogs from local shelters and rescues all throughout Southern California. We're training those dogs for 12 to 18 months to become psychiatric service dogs, and then we're placing those dogs at no charge with deserving veterans in need. Joined the military right out of high school, joined the Marine Corps, went through combat training, and uh, my MOS was crash fire rescue. So airplanes, crash, vehicles, things like that. I put on a space suit and basically put out a fire, rescue people. I had the unique opportunity to deploy to Afghanistan. I felt like I left a part of me after I deployed, like I didn't feel the same. At that time I didn't know what it was. I didn't want the stigma, I didn't want any of the broken merchandise, so to speak, label. Uh, eventually you have to get out of the Marine Corps sometime. And because I never addressed the things that I felt, the things that I've seen, after getting out I just felt like I didn't have any real options, I guess. Everything just felt so hazy, so murky, so it wasn't uh, clear what I should be doing. During this time I just felt so hopeless, helpless, lost. The more I tried things, I just felt more frustrated because you know, I'm trying all these things and they're not working. So one day I just had enough of it and uh, tried, tried to commit suicide. Lo and behold, that didn't work either, and I became more frustrated. It was absolutely mind-rending to feel stuck. You know, what skills do I have? What, what can I do? How can I leverage what I've done with where I want to go, feeling how I feel? So I went to private military contracting without the plan of coming back. The Taliban couldn't kill me, and I couldn't kill myself, so what was going to be my outcome? What was I going to do? I felt like I was just slowly suffocating, and at that point, it was okay with me. I didn't care. You know, I just, at this point, just wanted to burn out and left foot in front of the right foot until the left foot didn't come after. So uh, I went to a, a VA's uh, group therapy for post-traumatic stress, and they were handing out a bunch of papers. I wasn't really paying attention. And I remember as I was leaving, one of the other attendees there, he was just like, hey, have you heard about Shelter or Soldier? And he's like, what is it? You know, like, hey, just give him a look. Okay, yeah, fine, whatever. I had gone to work and I found in my backpack, uh, you know, the VA's paperwork. I just took a look at it. I was like, oh, let's see what this is. You know, shelter a soldier. I could feel my anxiety really start to kick in as I click on the application to see if I would be a good fit for them. We have heard so many times, I just need a little bit of lightness to keep pushing. And that little bit of light will keep me going. It's not just serving that veteran and that dog, but now it's also helping people hearing about it that have served that need this. I got in contact with Vic, and he invited me down to actually go down to the site for Shelter to Soldier. Everyone kind of felt like they understood. I didn't see that look of just judgment. It was um, empathetic. After a while, I was invited to come back and start doggy speed dating. When Bash came in the room, he just kind of like booped my hand with his snoot and then hopped up and then was just like, hey, I'm here. Like, what's going on, man? So after that, we started training. I really started to get a feel for what he liked, what he didn't like. And as the time went on, I kind of really learned his quirks. And I think he learned a few of mine along the way. It puts a smile on my face just thinking about the training sessions because <laughs> there it was. There's nothing better. You know, together we just put the left foot in front of the right foot, in his case, it's paws, and we graduated officially the Wednesday after Veterans Day. After experiencing the brotherhood of the military, after experiencing losing best friends, the relationship I have with Bash is, it's almost like you're taking the best out of all of those categories, wrapping it up in a dog, and then having that dog stay with you through thick and thin, it's priceless. If there were other people out there that felt the way I did, I would tell anybody in that situation, even if you've got just that small, that glimpse of light, you know, it could be dim. Um, you're going to want it. You're going to want to reach out to it. Just put out your hand. Look for that light. It's the light that, sadly, 20-plus veterans a day aren't seeing, and we want them to see. We want this light to shine as bright as it possibly can so that 
in a similar sense of shouting from the rooftops, we're reaching as many people that are struggling as possible that could utilize our help or our services. The light's there. It's hard to see it when everything's as black as it is, but um, sometimes things gotta look just a little harder.